Hey YouTube, um, how you going? Oh, I um, I went out yesterday. Um, I got a bookshelf which is in the bedroom, matches the furniture I've got in there. I paid twenty bucks for it, but that's a keeper for me. I got um, <coughs> this um, Bosch router. That's another keeper for me. Um, I paid a fiver for that, so I'm quite happy with that. Uh, today I went out and. I went to a place called Spotlight who sell curtains, bedspreads, all that sort of stuff, towels, that sort of thing. Um, the local store near to us, because it's a chain, um, they were shutting the place down to renovate it. I got these, this Bob the Builder duvet set for $10. Um, I did really well out of a um, Ben 10 set that I got. I got like 55 bucks for the Ben 10 set. So I'm hoping to get um, between thirty and fifty dollars for um, the Bob the Builder set. Oh, it's a um, it's a double bed quilt set with a with a pillowcase. Um, I went out today. Uh, I went to one place in the state cell. Um, I got a, a push button old push button phone. Um, they like these in Australia because if there's power cuts or you know from from whatever natural disasters or a fire or anything like that, plug these in and the phone system still works because everyone's got a phone that you need to plug in the wall whether it be cordless or fax machines or whatever. So these are good for emergencies. I usually get about uh, between twenty and thirty bucks for these. Um, this one here with the push buttons. The um, uh, I paid I paid a dollar for that. Um, I also at the same place I got a um, uh, what do you call those a Primus ring for a um, gas bottle so you can go camping. Plug it in the gas bottle, heat things up. I paid three bucks for everything I'm showing you now. Um, I got this which sits on a gas bottle. It's another Primus um, gas ring. It's, it's got some age to it and a rattle. Uh, these things, um, what do you call them, weed sprays, I seem to, I seem to do alright about out of these, I should get it, I paid, like I paid three bucks for the Primus this and another one of these, so you know, I usually get about fifteen dollars for these, I don't, never seen one like this, this is in good condition, I also got this one here, um, this is a bigger one, it's got a dent inside of it just here, um, you know, it's, it's still it's still a nice piece. They just need cleaning up. I don't like to touch them. I like to sell them as is. Like I said, I usually get about fifteen bucks for one of these. For this one here. Um, at that place, I also got oh, I got this here, which is an eight millimeter Canon camera. Um, paid ten bucks for it. Uh, takes AA batteries. Um, I did. I sold a. Um, um, uh, I can't think of what, what it is, but I sold one, another one, which um, is the same camera they used in the Zapruder films when JFK got killed, and um, I did really, really well over this. I think I'm definitely going to get my money back on this. Possibly, I'm thinking thirty to forty dollars for that. Um, and I also bought this box of. Um, Capstan cigarette tins. Most of them are in, in fair, fair condition. Um, the guy told me that his father didn't smoke, but he worked with a bunch of dudes on a building site that did smoke um, when these were when um, you know rolling tobacco and tins was on its prime. Um, his old man used to collect these tins, take them home, fill them up full of nuts, screws, nails, and that sort of thing. Um, I checked online, these go for roughly about $5 plus freight. I do not know how many have got, probably about 20 of them in here. Uh, there's some of them that are a bit, a bit nasty, so what I might do is sell a good one with a bad one. Uh, and last but not least, um, I also bought this. This is an, an Edwardian, uh, let's see if I can get a better view of it, an Edwardian nursing chair. Um, it's supposed to be on wheels, but I don't think that detracts from it. The guy that I brought it off, he said that his dad used to sit in the sunroom, drink beer and smoke cigarettes and the thing. 
Um, it is really comfortable. All the springs inside are all good. Um, the, the backing's all good um, here. Uh, it's got some wear signs here and here from where it's been rubbing up against a wall. Um, I've seen one in sort of like probably a little bit original better condition than this. They're going for $100 on eBay. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with this one. I'm, th I'm going to probably throw up the car, get this, talk to a guy, see about getting it recovered. I don't know whether I want to refinish it, maybe just recover it. Um, but the springs inside are real good. It's supposed to be on wheels like little casters, but they're gone. But I don't think that detracts from what it is. Um, so it's somewhere between 1890, 1910. It's got some really nice carving up here. Um, I, I, I just bought a uh, when I went to get the uh, Bob the Build. I went to get the Bob the. I went to get this, and that's handed up with a Bob the Builder set. It's just a cover for the chair, so I can throw it in the bedroom. We can look at it for a while till we decide what we're going to do with it. Probably just sell it, maybe as is. Um, I paid forty dollars for it. I don't know whether that's too much, not enough, or just the right amount for something like that in its condition. It's got no cracks in the timber, like I said, there's some weird marks up here. The um, the upholstery is a bit a bit uh, a bit second hand, but I'm pretty happy with it. I think I should have paid about thirty bucks for it, but I would pay a little bit more. I had a good look over it before I bought it. Um, nobody else seemed to be interested in it. Uh, maybe they thought it was a lot of work, or it is a lot of work, and I've just been bought the wrong thing. Anyway. Um, that's about all I've, I've done. Um, update on my uh, Pia Cardone handbag. Oh, the only reason I bought this was because um, Will from, is it, uh, I can't think of what Will's name is on YouTube. He buys a lot of wood and I just liked it and I just decided I could buy it. I wish I could remember Will's name. I'll put it up in a link to his um, channel. Um, I was going to say, Mm. Oh, that's right. Update on the Pierre Cardone handbag and the Sun Like It Hot Challenge. Um, at the moment, it's running at 5.50 plus freight. Uh, it's Sunday here now, so I've got three days till the auction finishes. It's sold because I only put a dollar reserve on it. Um, so, and there's about six watches on it. There's three people that have bid on the thing, so maybe it'll just go through the roof. Anyway, um, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Oh, that's right. And um, leave some, um, leave some, leave me some comments and stuff like that. The other thing I did buy yesterday, um, there was another, um, this lady was in the garage sale and she had a buck fifty on this, but that I think the person that sold it to me wasn't the owner of the stuff. Uh, so I bought this for a buck fifty. It's full of coins. Um, I don't know the value of any of these coins. I haven't taken them out of the bag yet. But there's some Indonesian coins. There's a big bunch of question mark coins. Maybe they belong to the Riddler. Uh, it could be from Gotham. Some Malaysian coins. Um, New Zealand Canadian coins. Uh, United States coins um, and some Australian coins. Uh, I did look at this before and there's some 50 cent pieces in here. Um, I think I might be on the money here because these are round 50 cent pieces and they have stopped making round 50 cent pieces a long time ago so I have to ring up and check. This looks like a dime. Oh no, it's a, oh yeah it is a dime. Um, and there's some other stuff here. So I've got to go and check this stuff out and I thought I'll punt on that for a buck fifty and I didn't realise there was some round fifty cent pieces because they're hot, um, um, octagon shape now here in Australia. So anyway, thanks for listening, uh, thanks for watching, please subscribe, um, please comment, please thumb me up, you know, um, if, if, if you think I'm wrong about this chair, please tell me, I'd like to know, I don't know anything about um, antique wood, so... You know, any, any information will be helpful. Anyway, thanks for listening. Good luck selling, good luck picking.